Well, that episode was classic ReZero. And it's one of those episodes that's presented in a way that only ReZero can do. Well, actually, all the episodes this season have also kind of been that way, but this one especially is honed in on what makes the ReZero so special. And that's because of how it takes advantage of the time reset mechanic. So I want to talk about how that mechanic just makes this show so different, along with some speculation and thoughts about where uh, the season could end up going from here. Because I have no idea, so why not throw out some wild guesses? All right, so last episode we had Subaru go back to the mansion where he was killed by Elsa. In a time reset, back to after he passed the first trial, as you saw at the start of this episode. Now this is very jarring because there's a lot that happened in episode 5, and now that's like all gone. We now don't have the confrontation between him and Roswell, all that pain Amelia went through, or just the progression in Amelia and Subaru's relationship. Subaru remembered it all, of course, but it feels like something isn't there because, well, it's not for any of the other characters. And now that time is reset, Subaru's whole approach is different, since now he's focused on stopping Elsa from killing Ram or Petra or Frederica. And it sort of takes away from the focus on Amelia that we had so much, and it also pulls Subaru's story away from all the other characters, which feels weird considering how close he was to Amelia so far this season. Now, I'm not saying any of this is bad. In fact, I like it. But it's very weird. Though if you're expecting the show to tell a story in a conventional way, it might be a turnoff. But I like it when shows can be different, so yeah, this is good. It's also interesting how Subaru is trying to figure things out here. He's used to this sort of thing happening, so he like knows how the events must unfold. And that takes us back to season one, where it seemed like every arc was him dying, learning more, dying again, learning more, and eventually figuring out the way to win and save everyone. And it was also very weird when Subaru had the conversation back after he and Amelia woke up, and like how Subaru was trying to force things to go in the opposite direction, but he kept hitting walls or things just not going how he thought they would. This means that there's a lot that's going on in the background that we don't know. And that we can also be pretty sure that Subaru is going to die again pretty soon. Though maybe not, because this is ReZero after all. Though I do like how this lets the show unveil the mysteries. They don't need to explain everything the first time through, because we're going to be back here. Multiple times, in fact. I also enjoyed seeing Subaru try to make sense of Frederica, though I don't fully understand why he was so suspicious of her. I guess it could be like he doesn't have anyone else to blame, but I'm glad that Subaru's doubts were cast aside and Frederica got some cool moments here. And especially with how much she was willing to fight to save Ram. Though of course, there's a lot we don't know about her in Garfield, so maybe she's not as good of a person as we think. That's definitely something that Rezera would end up doing. I did find Ram's reaction to learning about Ram very fascinating, though. Her reaction was cold, but that's how Ram is in general, at least on the outside. I wish we got more time with her and her thoughts like how she really felt about seeing Ram, not just the reaction she put on for Subaru. On a factual level, she did confirm that what Subaru told her was true. And while she does f factually know it is true, it's like there's not that connection in her heart to Ram. Which is very interesting. I mean, if I was told I had a sibling I had completely forgotten, I'd be like shocked. And if I could prove it, I would definitely care about them. But I wouldn't know them. It's very interesting that they're doing this with Ram and Rem here. Though, you could say that it's not a good thing that she was willing to leave Rem behind and as a sacrifice so the rest of them could get away. But honestly, if Rem could tell them what to do... She'd probably tell them to do that because she would care about them saving themselves. She would not care about herself, which is kind of sad. Then moving on to Elsa, what's going on with her? Like, we know she's working for someone, but who? And they also seem to know when Subaru should have returned, but only the first time through this loop. So I'm wondering, like, is she in league with Roswell or someone else in the sanctuary? Still, even if she was, I don't think that would have told them when Subaru was going to return. So is there something else? Maybe Elsa's in league with Ekidona? But that also doesn't make sense, and I have no idea how that would work. Yep, I'm confused. I'm curious, though, where we'll go from now. What Subaru could learn to, from Beatrice. He didn't get much last time, but now he might have the right questions to ask to start getting answers. Probably not, though, because, again, this is ReZero, and they like not answering things. We'll see, though. And I'm also wondering how long it will take Subaru to get through this loop. I know Arc 4 is supposed to be the entire season, so will the entire season just be this one loop over and over? 
It seems like it'd take a long time to get any progress, and I feel that just would not feel good from a pacing perspective, but this is ReZero. Maybe he can pull it off. Though it seems more likely that around like halfway through he'll get out of this loop and then move on to the next one, kind of like how uh, you had the thing with the whale and then uh, going after Sloth afterwards. That would maybe make more sense. We'll see, though. Though I have heard there's going to be lots of suffering, so yeah, he's definitely going to die multiple times in the rest of the season. I also wonder if there'll be a permanent cost to Subaru winning here. Typically in season one, once he figured out a way to survive, everything was resolved well for him and everyone he cares about. The Rem being taken was a big shock at the start of the season, and it shows that his return by death cannot undo everything. So I'm wondering if something like that will happen here as well. I'm also wondering like how he's going to stop Elsa. Like he returned when he normally did, Elsa was already there, killed him easily, and probably killed the others before he got there. Here he returned early, still wasn't enough. Though I do wonder, maybe like he'll return even earlier, or he'll return when he did, and then have Frederica and Ram and Petra and Rem all like come back with him to the sanctuary. That one might actually make the most sense. But it can't be that easy, I'm sure. So yes, that's my thoughts on episode 6 of season 2 of ReZero. Another great episode, and it really, really makes me want to watch more. Like how all of ReZero is. So yes, thank you for watching. Like if you liked it, comment your thoughts or the things that you think I missed, or just laugh at me and tell me I'm wrong, but please no spoilers in the comments. And subscribe if you want more ReZero videos. And I'll talk to you later. Thank you again for watching.